Hey guys, fun to be here back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to code an attachment system for your Godot first person shooter. So let's get right into this. So we'll need a few inputs. First, so go to your project and then project settings, input map, and you will need something called use attachment. So just go up here, create an action called use attachment. And I'm using the F key. You could use whatever key you would like. You could use G, T, or R. It doesn't really matter, but I just use F because it's the standard for all other games, so I'll, I'll use F. And then you want to go to your player script, and then if our input dot is actually just pressed, so we don't want to check if we're holding it, we want to check if we just tap it, and then use attachment. And then I use a for loop, so for gun in API dot weapon library dot get children. This API is just a script that holds global variables, and I have a spatial variable called weapon library and then in the player script i believe it automatically gets assigned in the ready function yes api.weapon library is equal to camera holder slash weapons so i get every gun in that weapon library and then i just say gun.use attachment so then you want to go to your gun script and just say use attachment and then i have a variable up here called light it's just a node path so i check if that node path actually has text in it so it isn't calling a null node and then i just say get node light.use so i get the node from this node path and then i just call the use function so then you want to create a spatial script called a base attachment and just extend spatial and then you want to give it a class name i gave it attachment this will make it easier to inherit and then all you need is a boolean and i just call it enabled by default it's set to false so you could probably go ahead and type that in here false and then you need a function called use and we'll be overriding this in the logic for each attachment so you can just use the pass function and then you can have like a laser attachment so we just overwrite this use function if we are enabled then we set enabled to false we hide the lie and we return if we are not enabled then we enable it we get the node light and then we show it and then we return this light is a is literally just an omni light with a light parent on it now i believe i'm using two different variables here so light and then light parent and then i have the light assigned to the omni light and the light parent assigned to the light parent and since we're using that use function it means the logic will be the same for both the laser attachment and the light attachment because we overrided it and it's extending from the same base script so we know the logic will be the same for both of these so you can just call this use function and since every attachment you'll be making will extend from the space attachment it will have the use function it means it's really easy to add new attachments you just create a new script in here and then it, you can say extends attachment and then you can just overwrite this use function and put the logic you want in there so if you were to make like an m203 grenade launcher you could override this use function if uh if we are enabled then we just set enable to false we give control back to the gun and then we just return it if we are not enabled and then we enable it we give control to the m203 instead of the gun this is attached to and then we just change like the crosshair and then we return so once again it's easy to create new attachments as i just did i explained a way to create like a grenade launcher you, you can go all out on this you could have flashlights laser attachments m203s pretty much anything you could think of you could even have some really crazy off the wall ones like wall hacks and other stuff just by creating a new script that extends this attachment so if you found this video informative then be sure to leave a like and subscribe it helps our channel helps get content like this recommend others that's all for me for now fun Uber, out